who is the king of the four rounders, has never been passed four rounds. So they did. They created a title for him because he was such a scope arena. Nice moment for Larry Holmes. Ooh, so here we go. Larry Holmes dancing around. Holmes. And then can put in a second, third, and fourth jab, which should win. Butterbean said he ran from him, but Zumbrin did enough to win. The landing and punching. Now see, when he gets on the inside, Butterbean can land a few things. Remember, Holmes is 52 years of age. Now, he is a zero. And hasn't fought since November. Usually a guy can hang in there a long time if he's a banger. But Holmes did it with his hand by Butterbean. Just missing there. But getting off a little bit now. His jab is... It's their first when Larry Holmes tries to throw that right hand in behind him. As a strong, which Holmes started out looking like, oh, there's the right. Because he's landed that many punches. Round to find out. Being able to make his entrance as he takes a shot and then... We head in the round two. I'm Al Bernstein along with Dave Von Temple. This is our mid wanted to do. Two jabs and straight right hands and Butterbean. A Best thing for Butterbean is that he was able to show Larry Holmes that he was... Butterbean loathe to rush in. You're both giving too much the title of this fight. About a minute left to go. Overhand right with the power that he used in the first round against Larry Holmes. There's Holmes showing several times, 10 rounds a number of times. So he has been the distance 52. And then you're 50. Now Butterbean staying in there, maybe trying to get Holmes to come in so he can land that right. He doesn't want to throw the right hand because he knows Butterbean's going to throw it. And he's motioning for Holmes to come in. To win, unless you right hand, overhand, right, right hand in there, and a backhand to knock him out. So, round two ends with Butterbean on the attack, and Larry Holmes. Butterbean backed up, watch the left hand, watch the invitation. <laughs> we head in, and the interesting thing about that replay was when to think about <laughs> Larry Holmes is. Yep. Whether it hit the jab or tying up or by now in this fight, he would have landed a lot more jabs and strips. Forcing that pace. And he come at Butterbean more. Butterbean is there and they're both waiting on their shots. And I'm statement that, that we're on two entirely different skill levels. Yes. It is much like the first couple where now there's Butterbean trying to and he came with the right hand there, did home, but it was it was short. That one got there. Opportunity he's looking at. He's waiting to pull the trigger. Yeah. And it surprised a little bit. The difference comes to, at the age of 43, mind you, tough rounds. And very nearly won that. Years later with Oliver McCall. Yeah, and that was. That'll do it for the third round. Landing the telling shot. Look at that. Right hand. Jabs and right hands from Larry Holmes. The only thing we missed were a few overhand rights. But you needed me to tell you that, huh? The microcosm in another reason. Now, Larry Holmes is mixing up his jabs. Well, look right now. And now, after, as we get past this round, we will reach if we... ...to Butterbean, a big experience concession from Butterbean to Holmes. Well, now... Tying up Butterbean every time Butterbean gets closer. He's had, he would land one shot and effectively turn the fight and end it. There's a left hook by Larry Holmes. Hey, a rare double jab in a right hand. The one that can get it done against the 52-year-old. Yet, yeah, the ironic hook. It's kind of like watching a, a Nero Wolf here in round number four. Never I never th I never thought I'd make a new decision. <laughs> exactly. Round four is over with. We move into round number five. Larry Holmes not off his stool yet. Don't know if Larry Holmes. So we head into round number five, a round I hasten to point out that you see that when Larry Holmes gets the jab in, Butterbean has to regroup. Murray Sutherland, that whenever Larry Holmes throws a right hand. Now for Butterbean, the question is, can he throw his right hand without waiting for Larry Holmes? Chris Wollison, the referee. Or Butterbean in it. Makes him have to gamble more. Holmes. Here comes Butterbean. He's wailing away now. That's where he was able to at least throw some of those windmill... So here in round five, cut over the eye. And the, the redness is a target. 
danger for Holmes. Because the way Barbee's coming in, the way he has to come in, those heads are clapping. Larry Holmes. Well, they were both leaning forwards. We saw some heads come together. Here's Butterbean coming in. They're at the halfway point in this 10-rounder. Larry Holmes throws it. 52-year-old former champion Larry Holmes. And the white king him with the jabber, leaving that hand out there. He wants Holmes to in front of him. Good jab by Butterbean. Wow. That ring. He's trash talking as he come on. Among other things. Yeah. So the eye of problem too for Butterbean. Get Butterbean it is emboldened, and now he's got Butterbean may be talking, but he's not rushing Larry Holmes, that's for sure. With the left eye of Butterbean, a slight abrasion on Butterbean stays on the outside. And for all the talking in this round, it's been Butterbean. The crowd's encouraging. You can feel Larry Holmes wants to land. Now the jab is setting it up. He's already landed his right hand several times. You see a good shot of it there. Under the ring, just kind of looking around, waiting for him. Yeah, a little bit. That would have been a good idea earlier. So, round six comes. Well, the Larry Holmes jab against an unprotected eye and the right hand. We head into the seventh round. Butter split decision that was very controversial. has not been able to do that very well in this fight. And I want to twist it. It's usually the young Yeah, exactly. Right hand gets in. Butterbean. But Larry Holmes is very good on his time hand counter. I think came in here with the idea of a, a certain attachment. To and uh, he has parlayed his four round figure, especially in Las Vegas. He does a commercial for what else? A bonanza. But now he's facing the guy who's peppering him. And a veteran who can pretty much throw the jab in the sleep and has the movement, has the right hand behind it, and just has so many different ring skills. For Butterbean, he has to close ground cheaply. Limited skills and limited mobility and all the rest of it. Lost in this is the pepper with the jab and the straight right hand. It's not bad for a 50 against the top heavyweight, but nevertheless, he can land something big. We move into round number eight of the... I don't think I can remember a fighter that could have that this nice right hand pull for the fight, and they've disrupted any swarming by being in it, or firing punches. However, better to lose by a knockout in which you took a stand. The worst fighters, when they get close, so he gives Butterbean a little bit of a chance to throw some punches. And that's how each fighter... Almost halfway through this round, there's Butterbean rushing in and back. I gotta tell you, you're not doing a very good job. In an 18 by And I think he thought he would have more. He's landed about five or six really. Watch. Butterbean has to reload and then fire in there. Well, Butterbean threw three punches and. and yelled at the referee and said, Why is he going backward? Well, go after him. Round eight is coming to a close and it does with a very. They go back. Uh, they go back 10 years. Butterbean, you have to knock this man out. The only way you're going to do it is by... If the ref is letting you guys decide it, then you can't look for by 18. It'll be 25 by 25 if he wants. At 52, he can't exactly run around the ring. He hasn't done so. Has Larry Holmes fought a somewhat safety first fight? In the whole thing for this fight for Butterbean was could he catch Larry? Butterbean's focus really needs to be right now getting on the inside and so low in this fight. King of the four rounders is in the ninth round. He's never been that far. Hook interrupted. Never gets there. He missing with the left hook, and I mean missing by three feet. Larry Holmes is really nailing him with the jab. Or whoever wanted a perfect foil for that, Butterbean would be it. He's involved. Butterbean and Larry Holmes. The guy you needed against has so many different ways to fight. Of course, his technique is not his forte, and he just couldn't get those punches in. Butterbean trying to back Larry Holmes up. The left hook comes up a bit short. For the 14th time since he turned 40. The 68 opponents, 20 had losing records, and 13 is the guy that's holding. Now here Butterbean backs in the corner, hoping that he can force Holmes to... ...aspect his career. 
this is his highest or so on that other circuit. And you know what's amazing? If you think it only made younger fighters, I, may I add one, moves away from the right hand. Let it be land, he has to make something dramatic happen. It's a little surprising in a way. Well, but Holmes has thrown in this fight, and you figure if he throws him around 10, they're going to hurt him. It mounted something of a charge earlier in the round. Looks like he will go out a winner. Oh, left tight look. Sends him against the ropes. Ends with a little bit more curiosity. So, saying that he won it. Well, a curiosity fight. Butterbean... We'll have this to hang his well, that off. See. Let's hit there. You know what? No. Uh-uh. For the 98-91, Peggy McEwen has it.